Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 72. I want to play some more with these this column chart and some of the options that we have there today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this chart. We're going to go to the design menu and change chart type. The first thing I want to do is show you this is a clustered column. This is a stacked column. So if we do this and click OK, now instead of having the months, let's see if I can do an undo and a redo. Here I have the months in separate columns and what I'm doing here is stacking them and what that helps me do is look at overall across the three month total I can see that Dr. D and then Dr. B have the most and if I want to look for the big months I can see well that red looks like the biggest month there and, and blue looks like a big month there and C was comparable. It's a way to stack the, the three columns into one and look at an overall total if that's part of what you're trying to show with your chart. These other options are, this is a 3D clustered column and you can do the same thing with a 3D stacked column. It's just a different presentation of what we had over here with the clustered column and the stacked column. Most of the rest of these down here are simply we're going to do cylinders or cones or pyramids as opposed to these bars here. I'll, I'll show you what one of them looks like. There is a 3D version of the cylinder or you could do something like this. And, and that's 3D with cones or you could do it with, let's do it with pyramids. So all we're doing is just changing the shape and I don't, if this is helpful, it, and what you're trying to present, particularly if, if things are going up over time, you can see it used to be here, now it's here, now it's here, maybe that's a helpful thing to look at. But these are all different types of columns that you can play with. Um, let's just pick one more. There's a 3D cylinder, and this is a clustered cone like we kind of started with like that, only in a 3D variety. So there's a variety of column kind of charts you can do. I want to show you how this 100% um, stacked column works. And what that does, I've got a chart set up here, and what this is, is the 100% stacked means that I'm going to take all of these four physicians, I'm going to look at their E&M codes, and level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. So what I can see um, from a stacked column is I'm not going to look at the volume of Dr. A's E&M codes versus Dr. B. Dr. C may see three times as many new patients or E&M visits or whatever as compared to B or D, but I'm not focused on that with a 100% stacked column. What I'm focused on is overall total in relation to the other physicians, I can see you know hardly anybody's billing level 5 and hardly anybody's billing level 1 in my <laughs> sample data. And um, I can see that Dr. C bills the vast majority of her E&M claims with a coding level 3. And I can with a stacked column, I could you know trend this over time and I could see how things look over time. But what a stacked column does is it takes away the overall total from the equation. It just says based on the total of EM visits that you had, show me where the percentages of level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five are. That's a way that you could use these stacked column charts. So I just wanted to go through some of these column options and show you what they look like. Stay tuned next time. We'll add some more to uh, the chart routine. Thanks for watching.